Hello YouTube and welcome to a new video. Um, today is the day after midsummer night here in Sweden, which means that everything is closed. Everyone is home, having a headache, contemplating just why they drank so much alcohol yesterday. I don't drink alcohol, so I'm free to do whatever I want today. And I want to talk to you about this the LG G5 phone. I've had this phone for about five weeks, a month, and uh, I've been using it as my daily driver. And uh, it's been reviewed to death by loads of people, so I'm not really gonna do a full review. Instead, I'm gonna give you my opinions on some of the stuff that other reviews have been complaining about. And then I'm gonna focus more on these other things because I have been collecting friends for the LG G5. So I have the Cam Plus, the HiFi Plus and the LG VR360. Uh, I don't have the 360 camera because I already have a 360 camera so I don't really need a new one. But this is what I'm going to talk to you about uh, today. First of all, the paint job issue. LG uh, said that this phone is an all metal phone. Uh, and a lot of reviewers were very disappointed when they got their first versions of this because as it turns out, while it is all metal, it is also painted metal. So if you compare it to this iPhone, what you have here, is basically metal straight up but here we have metal and then we have a layer of primer and then we have a layer of paint so it doesn't really feel quite the same it's not as cool to the touch as the old metal phone is and that made a lot of people upset but I think to me <laughs> that isn't a big issue uh, and also I think it's a, it's a fairly good idea because if you look at the iPhone you see these bands here uh, where they have to break the metal or, or you know yeah break the metal to put in the antennas otherwise the reception would be crap uh, so they did that and uh, most metal phones have these plastic bands the LG phone doesn't have the plastic bands because LG put the uh, antennas underneath the paint and the paint doesn't block the phone signal and if you look very carefully up here there are actually these bands just like they are there are on the uh, other metal phones but they are just breaking this line metal line around the the phone here so yeah it is a bit, you know, uh, I wouldn't say they are lying when they're saying that this is a metal phone, but it is maybe stretching the truth a bit because because of the primer and the paint, it doesn't really feel like a metal phone. So I can understand people who get upset by that. The next thing um, we're going to talk about is the fingerprint scanner, which is on the back. Uh, I always find that that's not a very good place to put it because my phone usually sits like this on my desk while I'm at work and I can't actually uh, unlock it and turn it on. Well, I can unlock it and turn it on because LG uh, had foreseen this problem with the fingerprint scanner and the on, on power on button on the back and they have made these knock on codes so you can record a pattern where you knock the front of the screen the bottom half of the front of the screen to unlock the phone uh, to me that's just annoying why don't they just put the power button so i can reach it even if it is lying on the table 
Uh, I'm sure they have reasons for that though, because if you put the power button down here, if, especially for this phone where you actually remove the bottom bit here, uh, that would be a problem. Uh, also, it looks very much like an iPhone. and. Uh, while Samsung doesn't mind that their phones look like iPhones, LG obviously didn't want to do that. Uh, they did move the volume rockers though, and they are over here. And I'm very happy that they moved the volume rockers, but I can't really understand why they moved the volume rockers to the left side. Uh, I would have preferred them having them on the right side and not only because I'm right-handed uh, you know but also because when I take photos I tend to turn my camera like that or my phone like that to take the photos and that means that the volume rockers uh, are on the bottom side so you can't really do the zoom using the volume rocker thing but you can but it's awkward it would have been nicer to have them here also, most games that are played in landscape mode tend to default to uh, flipping it this side. And then again, the volume rocker is on the bottom and kind of less accessible. Uh, I don't know why LG decided to do it this way. Uh, maybe there is a technical reason. Uh, maybe there is an aesthetic reason. I simply don't know. the selfie cam is on the top left corner of the phone when you're holding it like this uh, i would have preferred to have it on the top right corner again when i want to take photos i want to do stuff like that i tend to lean my camera like this which means that the camera will be in the bottom corner instead of the top corner uh, it's just annoying. I'm, I'm guessing that LG wanted us to to uh, go like that instead, and to me that just that feels awkward uh, because the photo controls are still here. So the you know snap button uh, is here. Uh, so then I have to operate that with my left hand, which feels weird. The dual cameras work very well. Uh, I was very skeptical towards the wide angle camera when I got this phone. I'm happy to say that I find it very useful. I use used it quite a lot uh, when uh, traveling. Uh, so so that's I mean it's actually good. Uh, and also the quality of the main camera is just brilliant. It is one of the best camera phones I've ever used. Okay, so I'm, I'm comparing it to a bunch of old uh, Nokia Lumias and, and uh, my Sony Xperia phones. But compared with those, I think this camera is just fabulous. It takes great pictures. It gives you a lot of control over the photos while also allowing you to take automatic photos very easily and well. So I, I really do like the cameras and also the the front facing camera uh, selfie cam is also very good. I did my entire review video of the uh, Samsung Tab Pro S using this phone instead of my usual Canon G7X camera that I use. I used the pho this phone for that review and it worked very well. Uh, the picture is good, the, the sound is good and everything is good so very competent cameras on this and surprisingly useful to have that wide angle camera uh, when you're taking photos on vacation. The main issue for me with this phone is the battery. Uh, battery life has been disappointing to say the least. Um, my old Sony Xperia Z3 would easily last through the day and uh, if I forgot the charger while I'm traveling it would last me two days 
if I was a bit conservative with my usage. This one, uh, I'd be lucky if I get a full day out of it. And uh, more precisely, if I get more than two and a half hours of on-screen time, that's a miracle. And to me, that's very disappointing. Uh, it's only 2800, 2800 milliamps battery, and it's not enough, really. The, I know that the Snapdragon 820 is supposed to draw less power than uh, its predecessors, but it, it still takes quite a lot of power to, to play games and stuff, and I'm guessing that the screen really is the thing uh, that's drawing all that power. Uh, I never used the always on feature of the screen for that reason. Uh, it drains power even more. Uh, so I turned that off of the first day after finding out that I had to charge my phone while at work. Uh, I'm not used to that. So mm, that's a disappointment. Of course, the battery is replaceable. You can just pull this out and replace the battery. Uh, but I shouldn't really have to. That's what I feel. Uh, I shouldn't really have to replace the battery uh, from a normal day of use. Uh, I'm hoping that LG eventually will come out with a bigger size battery. I don't know, maybe three and a half thousand uh, milliamp hours or something like that. That would be good. But this battery life is really disappointing. And it becomes even more disappointing when I start talking about the friends, which I will do now. So, the friends, the really the only reason, uh, the only compelling reason to pick the LG G5 over, for instance, the Samsung Galaxy S7 or a new iPhone or whatever, the Sony Xperia X uh, premium or performance. So, the friends are basically things that you can attach to your phone to give it new uh, abilities and uh, there are four friends that you can buy at the moment as far as i know uh, there's we got the lg cam plus module we got the lg hi-fi plus with bang of some play and we got the lg 360 vr uh, i got the cam plus with the phone because i pre-ordered it and uh, these two I bought when I was in uh, Berlin a couple of weeks ago. Uh, so I've had these for a limited time and this I've had for the full amount of time that I had the phone. And uh, it works like this. Let me remove the boxes here. Say that you want to use the... Um, Let's do the Cam Plus. So if you want to use the Cam Plus, you snap up the bottom of the phone like so. Take out the battery, snap it in, in the Cam Plus module, and off you go. You've got a Cam Plus. Now, the Cam Plus is uh, advertised as a kind of camera grip gives you a bit more thing to hold on to when you're using your phone as a camera. Uh, it has a shutter button, dedicated shutter button. It has a dedicated video button. It also has a scrolling zoom wheel and it has a button to switch between camera and not camera mode. Uh, in addition to this, it has another 1400 hour, milliamp hour battery capacity in, in it, so it basically adds 50% of battery life to your phone, which, as I said, battery life is an issue, so that's brilliant, at least in theory, because the implementation of this is not so good. Uh, first of all, it's advertised as a camera grip, right? So if I want to use it as a camera grip, I would grip it like that. Unfortunately, that means because the placement of these buttons 
is that I have to use my finger here in a rather awkward position and I end up not using it like this, instead using it like this, like I would without the camera grip on it, which makes it pretty pointless for that functionality. It is good to have a dedicated camera button, a shutter button. It also has this half down to to uh, focus and then you can take the picture. Uh, it's nice to have the video recording button for sure. Uh, zooming on a fixed lens is always uh, a bit of a you know double-edged sword here because while you can zoom and especially when you have two cameras because this allows you to seamlessly switch between the wide angle and the uh, normal angle cameras. Zooming on digital it really just is cropping the image and reducing the number of available pixels. So the results are not brilliant, uh, which means that while you can zoom, uh, I, you know, you really shouldn't. So that's pretty pointless. The uh, shutter button is useful, but not amazingly so. Uh, same goes for the video button. The switch button here, down here, well, you know, maybe there's a way to reprogram them. I don't know. But at least you get 50% more battery life, right? So 1400, 14 milliamp hour battery life. It seems to me though, after using this, uh, that it doesn't actually give you extra battery life. What it does, it seems to act kind of like a power bank, you know, those you buy and you can charge them up and then you can plug them in to charge your phone. It kind of seems that that is what's happening here. Uh, whenever the main battery goes below a certain level, uh, I'm guessing compared to the charge of the battery in here, the charging light will come on and this will actually charge the main battery instead of allowing the phone to draw power from both sources. I'm guessing that is a lot easier to do for LG than actually uh, doing the two sources thing, but it is pretty annoying uh, and it, I mean if it's just a power bank there are a lot more powerful power banks that actually cost less than this so what you're getting is a glorified shutter button which you know LG you should have included one to start with anyway uh, and a couple of other buttons that you won't really use and a substandard power bank uh, I can understand why they included this uh, in the phone because uh, I would never have bought it uh, otherwise. Well, I may have bought it, uh, but after seeing a review like this, I wouldn't have. Don't buy it because it's just not that much value for money. It still costs, I believe, something like a hundred dollars. Uh, so you know, a hundred euros here in Sweden. So not very good. Let's take out the LG Cam Plus. Not a good idea. So, the uh, Bang Olufsen LG HiFi Plus. High quality uh, digital analog converter to give you uh, through, true high definition sound. Uh, this comes with a, its own little protective thing, so you can just snap it in like this. It seems to me, when I, when I read the manual, it seems that it should be able to run uh, using a cable connected to a, another smartphone. So there is a USB Type-C to micro USB uh, included in the box. I haven't tried that, but it, it seems to be uh, the idea. So maybe I will do another video where I talk about that. 
Uh, otherwise, for the LG 5 it is the same as with the Cam Plus. You take this, plug in the battery, and slide it in, and there you go. It adds a little bit of distance to the phone. It makes it uh, half a centimeter or so taller. Doesn't really matter. And uh, this actually works exactly as advertised. If you connect a headphone to this, you will get a very nice quality sound output from it. Uh, in fact, I can hear a difference even if I use kind of normal headphones and if I use my hi-fi, hi-fi, high-def headphones, uh, I think it's a lot better sound. So this is brilliant. I love this, except for one tiny little thing, uh, battery usage, because this seemed to drain the battery like crazy. I mean, really, really amazingly battery drainage on this. It gets quite hot as well. And I would say from my experience using it, I got maybe two, two and a half hours worth of listening out of it. Not a problem, you might say. Uh, just plug it in because obviously it has a USB Type-C port down here. So you can plug it in and recharge it. But you can't see if you plug in the USB Type-C for charging here. Uh, the phone informs you that while you are charging, you cannot use the um, <clears throat> high def audio output. Hmm. So that's not very nice. LG, why did you do that? I suspect LG did that because uh, they are just simply extending the USB type C functionality uh, using that to, to do the high def audio data transfer and you can't have two USB type C things attached at the same time. That's what I would imagine. Uh, it's a, such a really silly, even idiotic uh, limitation though, because it basically means that you can listen to this for a couple of hours and then you have to take it, you know, stop listening to the high high def audio and recharge it. Uh, you can of course listen to the normal audio uh, while you recharge, but yeah, come on LG, why did you do that? It turns out that the same limitations are present even for the Cam Plus. Uh, for the Cam Plus, it's not such a big issue because if you plug it in, you can't use all the buttons and uh, as I said, they're pretty worthless anyway. And also, if you are in a position where you actually want to use, you know, the shutter button, you're probably not in a position position to also charge your phone. So, not a big problem here. Huge disappointment with this one, though, because basically it means that you can't really enjoy this the way I thought I'd enjoy it, which is, you know, listening. To it at work all day. Can't do that, it will run out of battery and I have to shut it down, you know, uh, switch over to listen to normal headphones or normal uh, audio while I recharge. So, shame on you LG, really, shame on you. Now these are, to all intents and purposes, just uh, glorified Google Cardboard thing. Uh, it actually comes with its own screens, so you don't have to, you know, like the Galaxy or Google Cardboard Galaxy uh, VR, uh, you actually have the phone uh, on this, but these things have their own screen, so you don't need that. It's very nice put together, it's very, looks very integrated. Piece a bit plastic, but it looks kind of nice. And uh, if you wear them, you look like an idiot, but you always do. This cable 
will attach to the uh, phone in the USB type C port, which means that you can basically have a uh, virtual reality experience without being attached to, you know, big other things. So you can put this in your pocket like so, and then you can wear these and then you can walk around and walk into things because it's very disorienting. Now, a lot of people have been complaining that these things aren't immersive enough because there is some light leakage. And yes, there is some light leaking in. I got this nice um, cover here that's supposed to keep the light out. But really, you do have light coming in from the sides into to, uh, the viewing experience. In my opinion, that's not a big problem. Uh, in my opinion, this works very, very well. Uh, the resolution is mm, a bit on the low side, but then again, I think it's a bit on the low side, uh, even on the dedicated you know, VR equipment that you can buy for your PC. So not a big deal. Uh, these also have, you know, if you attach these to the phone, the phone will recognize them. And when you put them on, it will take over and shut the screen on the phone off, which is nice. Uh, and then you can use the phone as kind of an input. So you can press this to select things. You look at them and you select them you touching the phone screen. Or you can use the buttons up here. So you have an OK button and you have a back button. And they, I mean, these work very well. They even have a... Uh, headphone jack here yeah, so you don't have to have two cables running from your phone it works very well uh, I am really impressed with this it even comes with uh, its own little box so you can carry in case so you can carry it around uh, issue with these uh, apart from the normal virtual reality issues that you kind of get disoriented and walk into things uh, the problem with these is that they also drain battery like there is no tomorrow uh, you can't really enjoy any of these things for that much time because it will drain the minimalistic battery that LG put in this phone uh, if you use a Cam Plus, that also drains the battery because the camera drains the battery quite severely. And uh, the Hi-Fi hi drains the battery and the VR360 drains the battery. And you get maybe, you know, two and a half hours of usage out of any of these. And then you have to recharge your phone. And you can't recharge your phone with any of the friends attached or in use. Uh, they can be attached, but you can't use them while you're recharging your phone. And that's really, really annoying. That's the biggest issue I have with the LG G5. The tiny little battery they have and the fact that you can't use any of these wonderful toys uh, and charge it at the same time. And also, you know, the fact that they all drain the battery so quickly. That's the biggest problem. Uh, I have another problem and that's with the design of the modularity thing. So you press this button here, uh, you pull it out and you get the battery pulled out along with this bottom bit here. Uh, that looks pretty cool, but it gets old really, really quickly. I would very much prefer it if the battery could have stayed in like so and this came out without the battery i'm guessing that they did this attached thing um, for well there may be aesthetic reasons it is kind of cool to you know do this and then chuck yeah uh, but you know Again, it grows old. Uh, the thing is, it's a good way to actually get the battery out. If you want to replace a battery, uh, this is a good, good thing because you can just 
pull it out together with the uh, bottom lip here, replace it and then insert it again. Two problems with that. First of all, the plastic attachment here uh, wears out. I've only had this for a month and I haven't actually used the friends that much. I haven't been swapping them, not even every day. And it's already uh, loose. It's not sitting, sticking on uh, like it used to. So it's already wearing out. And also, obviously, taking out the battery kills the phone every time. And the LG is not the quickest phone to, to boot up. So it's a bit annoying. I would have preferred, very much preferred, if LG had designed their modularity so you can swip, swap the module without actually killing the phone. But you can't the way they've done it now. Another great disappointment is obviously that you can't use the extra functionality while you are charging the phone. And that is incredibly annoying, especially when it comes to the HiFi Plus. I could easily have attached this, have it attached all day, listening to music. That would have been great, but I can't because uh, it would run out of battery before lunch. So <laughs> why did you do it that way, LG? Please fix this limitation. This little thing is amazing if I could only use it. Uh, the battery issue is not a big issue with the VR360, simply because you don't really watch uh, use it that much. You can conceivably use it to watch movies uh, while in flight, for instance. You can just put this on and you have a like a movie theater all to yourself. I always find that the resolution is a bit low and it's not that cool. But uh, again, uh, if you want to do that, you will probably uh, run out of batteries before the movie runs out, unless you're watching a, you know, something short and sweet. Uh, so those are th those things uh, and the Cam Plus is perhaps the biggest disappointment of all. Uh, it is utterly useless, pointless to have these. The functionality that it adds is not, you know, well, I don't want this, I don't need this. It's, it's no point in having them. Uh, and that's really annoying because I think they could have done so much more and such a great thing with this if they have thought it through properly. This is pretty big, it builds like a centimeter from the phone on the back side here. If they extended it like so much, another couple of centimeters, they could actually have put inside this a proper sensor and lens they could have put a one inch sensor and they could have put in a zoom lens if they wanted to making this actually a very useful uh, camera addition to the phone uh, now that would have been really great and you can just you know here's my phone blah, blah, blah. i'm going out of town to to do some sighting i swap it out i put on this Yes, I already have two lenses, I know, but getting a good size sensor and a proper lens, zoom lens or, or fixed lens would be really, really a killer app for me. That would mean that I would not bring any other camera possibly, uh, just touch this and off I go. That would have been cool. For future friends, if I allow myself to, to, to imagine a bit, I imagine having something like this, HiFi Plus, but not for audio, for, for graphics. You know, you, you, it's not hard to conceive that they put a proper uh, couple of extra graphics chips in here. Uh, to give it some really oomph when it comes to graphics and you can drive either the screen or you can attach have on this uh, a mini display port or, or you could use a 
USB Type-C to, to uh, drive a screen. Now that would be really, really cool. Uh, then you can turn this, you know, a, a wireless Bluetooth uh, controller to it and you can actually turn it into a game console. Yes, you know, you're out traveling, uh, you attach it to the TV where you are and off you go with extra graphics card power. Not in this one, but in something this size. Now, that would be cool. And that's kind of why I still think that the LG G5 is a very cool phone. Because even though LG hasn't really delivered uh, with in terms of the friends, this first edition of them, as these three plus the camera, uh, the idea is very good. You can have a phone, which is still a very good phone. It is a flagship phone. It does all the things you do, want it to do uh, very well. Battery life is a disappointment, but again, LG could possibly uh, come out with a new battery that will fix that. And if they do, it's a very good phone, good screen, good memory, good processor, good everything. Um, and then you can, you know, I'm interested in, in I'm interested in, in, in uh, audio, so I buy the high def audio DAC. I am interested in uh, 360 photography or, or virtual reality, and I get these and the camera to go along with it. I am interested in photography or I travel and take a lot of pictures. I get something like the Cam Plus, only better with the extra lens. I'm into gaming, I get a extended, uh, you know, uh, graphics capabilities through a friend. That's really cool. I like that. I like the idea. And I think LG is really onto something. They need to fix the problems that they have with this first implementation. Namely, they have to fix the fact that you can't charge it and use the, the friends at the same time. Uh, they have to fix the fact that the battery is pulled out every time you want to change a friend, which means that you kill the phone. Uh, and that would also fix the problem with the battery being attached and kind of uh, loosely attached now after just a month of, of use and fix a battery so it's a bigger battery and this would be the most amazing phone ever and it can still be because they can do a lot of updates to the friends and i'm thinking that it might actually be a software thing to fix the uh, charging issue conclusion the lg d5 on its own, it is a pretty good uh, 2016 flagship smartphone. I like it. I like the design. I like the you know how it feels in the hand and how it performs. With the friends that are available right now, it becomes a good choice uh, for audio. A good choice for. VR. I think this is a lot better than the Galaxy VR, for instance. And with the possibility of having other friends with a lot more functionality, this becomes the most interesting phone since the original iPhone, basically, because it's a whole new way of doing things, a whole new way of thinking about these things. You buy a base components and then you buy add-ons according to your interest and uh, if they can make that work that will be absolutely brilliant so thank you very much LG for being brave enough to doing this uh, shame on you for not doing it properly but all in all uh, the LG G5 is a good experience and uh, yeah I would definitely recommend buying it also, the user interface is a lot better now than it used to be. So, it is a buy and uh, just pick the friend that you really want and not like me buying all of them. 
uh, and uh, good luck.